as we look at this, I'm going to tell you that this pass-through is actually really one of the widest pass-throughs on an Ibex or on any small travel trailer that has a Murphy bed. Now, the Ibex is the cousin to the No Boundaries, and they're kissing cousins because Ibex actually makes bigger floor plans. So you get your off-road tires, black tank flush, you get solar panels, inverter, the whole nine yards. On the back, you'll also have a backup camera and a roof to get on the ladder, power awning. Now, it was raining when we did this, and by the way, I'd like to give a shout out to RV Super Center in Temecula, California. They're the ones that allowed us to shoot this uh, beautiful coach. And of course, if you see that line, that little, we'll call it rail on the side of the coach, that's to put uh, a table that comes with it so you can use the outside barbecue. And then you get a TV, and you actually get a wardrobe on both sides, which in a 23 foot total length travel trailer, Typically, we don't see that. Now, what we did do different during this video compared to others is we opened up all the drawers and cabinets already. Thank you for the feedback for those that are my fans. And the other thing I really want to go over with the Ibex is the fact that there's charge controllers and plugs on each side of the bed. It's got full-size bunk beds. It's got a decent sized shower and big storage all the way around. Remember this is actually towable by the majority of SUVs. It has a convection microwave, it's got a nice sink where it's not as big as most of your bigger travel trailers but you know you can fit a pot or a pan down there. It also has central vacuum, inverter solar, two burner stove. You're probably wondering to yourself, well, what don't you like about it? I only, I, I'm going to tell you, it's very nitpicky, the stuff I don't like about Ibex. The very first thing I don't like about Ibex trailers is it only comes with one propane tank on this floor plan. And to me, that's insanity. I do like the fact they put a full-size propane electric refrigerator in it. I'm a big fan of boondocking and dry camping. I love the pantry. But at the end of the day, if I have to be really, really nitpicky about this, it's the fact there isn't a lot of storage for clothing outside of the two small wardrobes. And that's being really picky, folks. With a coach this size, you don't want manual jack, or I'm sorry, you do not want electric jacks. You want the manual since most folks using this are going to boondock. I mean, yeah, the price tag is outrageous. I get it. For some of you that know, do research and do your homework, I mean, for a thousand dollar unit on a 19 foot trailer, why not go spend 80 on an Airstream, right? I don't think Airstreams are really worth the money. I think this Ibex is worth the money though. And for those of you that are fans of mine, I am normally don't say anything like that. Normally I'm pretty brutal. But if, if anything, this unit just has everything you want in a bunkhouse. If you have a 4Runner, Jeep Grand Cherokee, small Tacoma or Ranger. Well, that's all I have on this unit. Um, at the end of this unit, at the end of this video, you're actually going to see right now in the top right hand corner a walkthrough video on another SUV towable travel trailer. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope everybody has a happy new year.